Hey guys, this is DK. Today I'm playing Endangered World. I know I haven't played for a really long time and I'm sorry about that but hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you for sticking around and waiting for this video. So what we're going to be doing is still carrying on my grind because I haven't played for a very long time. I'm trying to get 600,000 to buy the coral reef. I've got 420k right now so only a little bit more grinding so I'm going to try and do these quests. If I finish this quest I'll get 1125 coins which is quite good. So I need to find pandas, endangered animals and just photographing animals in general. Let's get to it. And also another way that I'm going to try and get money is the rescue center. It seems weird to see the walruses here where the bunnies and the snakes are. I feel like they should have a little ice area just for them. This is definitely not their habitat. And there's literally a wildfire going on right outside it. Let's go back to the rainforest. I finally found all the desert ones because there was one that I was missing which was the, the Dharma gazelle I think. I found every animal in every biome apart from coral reef and alpine tundra which I'm really hoping to do soon so I just need to carry on the grind. I need to find some giant pandas. It's been a while since I've been to my enclosure so I'm just going to go check that out. And look at that. I haven't been here in such a long time but I think we need to look after the animals. I almost forgot that I had like that I had these in here. Where are you? Oh he wants fish. Okay. I thought he wanted a squid. Here you go. I need to release my gharial so I'm going to need some meat. What else do they like? Meat and fish? Okay. They really want to go home. Look at this. They're right by the door. I'll be able to release my addicts now. And then give him this and then we can release you. Have fun in the wild. Heart and heart. Please don't get stuck on the tree. Good. And there's another baby addict. So cute. The horns are already extremely long for a newborn. I feel like I should definitely add some more enclosure stuff to this but I'm trying to save up my money but I think they're okay. I think my bunny and orangutan wants to escape but I will release it but it's just critically endangered I don't want to release him yet. And there you go Goriel. You're free to go back into the wild. I just realized none of this is going to help me get some money so now I'm just going to quickly rush back to the rainforest and carry on with my picture taking. When I look into the rainforest, why is it so empty? I thought it was the most biodiverse place but the spawn rate is like really low. I haven't seen any pandas yet and they're only vulnerable, they should be spawning by now. Okay, next quest I can do is the savannah. About all about healing and healing rhinos as well. It seems like all the animals here are completely healthy. Which is a good sign. I just need to keep searching for any injured ones so I can help them as soon as possible. Okay, we have one here. Let me go get a quest from... Maybe here? I don't actually remember what this place is called. Why don't I remember? That is concerning. Oh, Boreal Forest. I remember now. Let's get a quest from here. Felix. Deforestation is a threat. It's when lots of trees are cut down. Trees help make our planet healthy. They clean the air we breathe. We must restore lost areas of the boreal forest. Plant 30 saplings. Oh, that's fun. Let me go do that. Tree zone. I feel like the saplings are planted very close together. If this can turn into these type of massive trees, I feel like they should be more spread out. But we're putting five saplings right next to each other. Siberian grass, Siberian mustard. I completely forgot about all the animals that were here. I haven't played in so long. American bison, boreal chorus frog. Remember the grizzly bear tracking? I now know why bears hibernate. There's not much food during the cold winter so bears hibernate to survive. They don't even eat or drink. They build dens and sleep all winter. It would be cool if we could take more animals into the rescue centre but of course it costs robux. Ooh, a woodland caribou. They look so... I don't have a word to describe it but they look really grand. Still don't see any pandas. Here's the Arctic tundra. I forgot we can also go into the water. Oh no, an oil rig has exploded out of sea. It's a disaster. Whales come to the surface to breathe. The oil could cause them injuries. We must act quickly. Clean up 600 litres of oil from the ocean. Okay, let's do this. I don't even know what this machine is called, but let's go with it. There's an oil spill. Well, clean that up, man. If this continues, all the animals will be injured. Although I don't actually see anything right now, apart from one author over there. Bowhead whales are majestic. They can live for over 200 years. Wow, I never knew that. That's actually really cool. 
kind of like tortoises, but actually I don't think they live that long. They're endangered and one of the rarest whales in the ocean. Photograph 14 animals and I hope you see a bowhead whale. Have I seen one? I don't remember. Hmm, bowhead whales, this one. The longest living mammal in the world. Guys, I'm so close to getting 600,000. I have 520,000, that means I got 100,000 since last time and I'll be there in no time. So guys, stay tuned because the next video I'm going to be going to the coral reef. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!